I was a hell-raising, no bullshit, motorcycle riding guy. I belonged to my first motorcycle club in Detroit at 17. I've seen and done more than you could ever imagine. I led a pretty colorful life. And part of my life wasn't going to church. It wasn't studies of uh, the divine. Trust me on that one. But I drank myself to death 25 years ago, total renal failure. The doctor said, we could try dialysis to keep you around for 24 more hours. Well, I said, I'm not going to die. He says, yes, you are. I said, no, I'm not. He said, yes, you are. Well, we were both right. 24 hours later, I physically died. But I went off to another place, another dimension, and I ran into angels and archangels. And they sent me back. They said, you've got to go back, David. You have work to do. Really. Surprised the shit out of the doctors and nurses in my family because they sat up. Scared the shit out of them. Me too. But that didn't mean I was well. About two and a half months of laying there in bed, one night about two in the morning, our bedroom lit up like a Roman candle, a white light. A female voice came out of that light and said, get out of bed and take a, a, a yellow notepad and a pen with you. And she said, we want you to, to write an outline. And that's the last I remember. But at six o'clock in the morning, I woke up and I looked down and on that yellow pad was a seven page outline of this project. It must be those angels or those archangels that I ran into a while back. I don't know how this could happen. I thought about ETs, but that made me even more afraid. And that's how it came through, that seven page, and we're still following that rough draft of that outline. But for 10 years or 15 years, I really didn't tell anybody because it's such a phenomenal thing to try and believe, or somebody had told me that, you know, it would be very difficult for me to try and, and say, okay, I, I believe you, but that's how this project came about. People need to know that trees breathe in and feed on carbon dioxide. They exhale life-giving oxygen. Trees clean the water, clean the air, provide habitat, shade. When you cut down a forest, you destroy the whole ecosystem. In the United States, 98% of all the old growth forests have been cut down, 98%. We've come in, we've taken the best of the best and left the junk, which got to grow up. 60 or 70 years later, we went in and cut those down and left the junk. 60 or 70 years later, we come in and do it again. Now, with climate change rearing its head, we're depending upon the junk of the junk of the junk and its immune systems to save us. It can't. It takes a redwood 1,000 years or more to mature. Man, armed with a chainsaw, can cut one down in an hour. We all need to restore the ecosystems of our planet by reforesting this planet. And how do we do that? At first glance, this may look like any ordinary tree, but it's not. Legend has it that Hippocrates taught his students the science of medicine under one of these trees. Well, how could it be that old? Well, it's not the original. It's actually a clone. 
child of God. The mission of Archangel and Ancient Trees is to find and locate the world's largest and oldest growing living things, which are trees, and clone those trees. Trees that have lived through the entire industrial age, everything we could throw at them, and it's several hundred years old, several thousand years old, are still here. Those genetics are probably the greatest hope we have to reverse climate change. In order to properly clone the redwoods, scientists need new growth samples, which means climbing hundreds of feet up into the trees. Well, here's some. Stand clear. Dry weight of one sequoia is 400 tons of stored carbon. So every tree stores four or five hundred tons of carbon. How many forests with trees like that do you think we need to build all over this planet to help reverse climate change? I'd say everywhere that they would grow, even in our cities. They told us six years ago, every expert on this planet, you cannot clone a redwood over 90 years old. It won't work. We've tried it. The graph falls off. It won't work. You're hoodwinking people again, David. I would like to share with you the impossible. This is the world's first clone of a 3,000-year-old giant sequoia. It's yours. It's yours. We've done 130 different species of trees. We're leading on the genetics of the great trees two by two in this art, a living library art, so they can be utilized to repair the planet. You know did it with animals? We're doing it with trees and their genetics, and it's never been done before. When he first had this vision, and I call it a vision because that's how he describes it, he was told to outline this project to protect the trees, the largest tree of every species, because they know how to survive. Then if something happens and they die off, we'll, we'll have the genetics to study. Uh, I think the fact that he's you know, quit drinking and he's been doing this project and kind of redeeming himself in a lot of ways, I think he's very proud of that. It's about uh, redemption. I think as much as we need trees, we need hope. And planting a tree is planting hope. We're losing 40 football fields a minute worldwide. We're bulldozing down or cutting down the forests of this earth. Who's putting those back? Who's reestablishing those ecosystems? We were born before the wind. We have a warehouse of 15,000 redwoods going out this fall to start to rebuild redwood forests all over the world. And when they put that in the ground, it'll live two to 4,000 years, unless we cut them down on a green. That's paying it forward. 2,000 years, 4,000 years, 24 seven. Oxygen, sequestering CO2, providing habitat and shade. It's a major part of the solution. And all you have to do is be a part of that solution. Spirit fly into the mystery. What would happen if every human being on this planet, man, woman, and child, planted two to four trees a year and made them live? What would be the result of that global effort in 20 years? Well, guess what? In 20 years, the CO2 levels will be back like 1959. I don't have to fear Just like way back in the days of old.